So now let us understand how walk behavior works inside of character animator. So you can make characters walk out by using your arrow keys uh, just like when you're playing a video game. And then what you can also do is change around the style of those walks. So to understand more about it, let's just select this character right here, which has a walk behavior. So one of the example puppets in character animator. So now once we go over here onto our project, we have the character. And what we have is over here on the right side, a walk trigger has been applied as you can see right here. And the mode is left and right arrow keys just like this. Position base is that the walk and everything happens according to uh, the camera and everything. And so we're just going to focus on the left and right arrow keys right here because it is more precise. So if I were to press my left key, you can see that the character walks left. And if I were to press the right key, you can see the character walks on to the right just like that. So keyboard input is there. If I were to turn off the keyboard input, then it does not work out. You have to turn this on in order to get some input. And you have to make sure that the walk uh, behavior, the properties is turned on just like that. So over here, if I were to press the right hand key, right key, you can see that it slowly starts out right here. But I can change around the easing. Let's say uh, I want to have one second of easing. Then if I were to press the right key, you can see that it uh, pauses out for one second and then only plays out the rest of the animation. If I wanted to do fast, so I can just press 0.1 second right here, the easing, and you can see that it immediately starts walking just like that. So you can change around how this actually works out just like that. You can change the style so you can do a slump instead of a walk. So that's slump. Then you have stir right over here, stirting right here. And then you have prance just like this. And then you have sneak. All right, looks much more better for this character right here. Then you have run, actually running out with a lot of jump, as you can see right there. And there's head bang. All right, as if it's enjoying on with the music. So let's just uh, stick to walk and let's go over here. So if I were to go over here, there's a certain stride length here. If I were to increase that out, there's much more increase of length onto its legs, as you can see. Let me just keep it to 100 itself. You bring it down, there's a lot less here, as you can see right there. If I were to go over here onto step speed, right now it's 83%, but if I were to do 200%, it's much more faster, as you can see right there. I can also do slower right over here, as if the character is very, very slow, just like this, as you can see right there. So that is how you can actually set it out, just like that. You can set out how much uh, steps you want to do. So uh, I'm just going to leave it out into 80% right here. And over here, there's the step phase right here, which you can control. So you can see right over there, if I were to change this, subtle changes over the phase of the step over there. So then you have poor pose emphasis. So if I were to increase that out, there's more emphasis on the pose over here at the ends while the character is walking out just like that, as you can see right here. You go minus, you can see that there's no pose emphasis on the ending part. I'm just going to leave this on to zero just like this, as you can see right here, change it out, 44 and so forth. There's like these kind of a pose emphasis just like that. So I'm just going to go back right here, just like that. And there's something like that, as you can see right here. All right. So coming on to uh, this side right here, uh, I'm going to go to body speed. So if I were to increase that out, the body goes left and right as well, as you can see. So I can go around into body speed. Let's say, for example, if I were to do 30 right here, it goes slowly onto the right, slowly onto the left as well as I press the keyboard button. So if I were to go to 50, you can see that it goes on to the right, goes on to the left, just like this. So shoulder sway is like the shoulder like, right over here, as you can see, it changes around the shoulder sway as well. Let me just increase that out right over here. You can see that the shoulder really sways out as I do that. But too much, it looks kind of unnatural. So I'm just going to leave it around 100% just like this. And then you have the arm swing. So if I were to really increase this out, you have the arm swing over there, as you can see right there. 
So let me do around 200% and you can see that the arm really swings out right over there. Then you have the arm angle right here just like this and there's the angle of the arm which changes out over there. And then there's elbow as well so if I were to increase that out there's elbow swing just like that as well. And then there's hip sway so if I were to increase this out there's like hip sway right over there as you can see just like that. So let me just decrease uh, this out over here. And then if I were to go over to toe bend, then the toe bends out even more as you can see. And strength is something I can work around with. So there's no strength whatsoever on the animation. But if I were to increase it out, you can see that there's a bit of strength on the animation. Increase it even more and then the strength of the animation is even more. So just like that, you can control around how much you want to work with just like that. And that is how you can uh, control out all the walk. So how is this possible is uh, to the rig. So any character that you make, you can rig it out uh, to enable walk cycles just like this. So for that, you have to go inside right here to understand everything out. So over here, this is the character. And now over here, you can see that this is the frontal and left quarter body and everything right here. So left, right, uh, left profile and right profile body, all of it is here as you can see right here. And the legs you can see is here and this is rigged up. You can go around onto the body, you can go around onto the head right here, left profile leg and so forth. So that's the left leg right over here just like this, which has been rigged out from the other layer right here. There's like a uh, uh, right, right arm which is rigged out as well. Of course that is con uh, controlled from the mouth. Uh, mouse, that, that's the left leg right here. So you can just go over here and that's how it's actually controlled out and so forth, all the movable parts right here, the left profile right here, the right leg, you can see that there is a rig and left uh, leg right here also has a rig, just like that. And over here in the behavior, uh, you can see around how this works around. So you can see that if I were to uh, select this out right here, different layers right here, we can see this out. So that is how you can work around with the walk behavior inside of character animator, the existing one at least, and that's how it works. So everything is rigged out as you can see, and it is linked together. And that is what makes the uh, walk possible. So you don't have to manually uh, do walks, but everything is done to the rig itself. And that is how walk behavior works inside of character animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.